Good morning everyone, a very warm welcome to Holy Trinity Church at Home on Christmas Day. It is wonderful to be together, uh, wishing you comfort and joy as we celebrate uh, Christ's birth today. I bring you good news of great joy. A Saviour has been born to you. Alleluia. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Alleluia. He is Christ the Lord. Alleluia. We worship and adore him. Alleluia. So we are now going to light the central candle on our Advent wreath, which reminds us of Jesus, the light of the world. Caitlin, will you come and light that for us, please? Wonderful. Thank you. So we say together... Lord Jesus Christ, your birth at Bethlehem draws us to kneel in wonder at heaven touching earth. Accept our heartfelt praise as we worship you, our Saviour and our eternal God. Amen. So we're now going to join together to sing that wonderful hymn, Joy to the World, the Lord is Come. So we come to our prayers of penitence. The Virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Let's take a few moments of quiet to reflect on the times we have forgotten Emmanuel. Lord God, when we reject people because we see only faults, we miss Emmanuel. Lord, forgive us and heal us. Lord God, when we condemn, belittle and look down on those we see as failing, we miss Emmanuel. Lord, forgive us and heal us. Lord God, when we fail to enter the desperation of another, we cannot empathise and compassion dies within us. We miss Emmanuel. Lord, forgive us and heal us. May the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us our sins and assure us of his eternal love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We're now going to have our first reading. The birth of Jesus Christ. 
This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be with a child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. The reading is taken from Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, 
because there was no room for them in the inn. This is the end of the reading. Thanks be to God. Well, let me add my happy Christmas to you as well, from my home to your home, wherever you're watching, on this rather different Christmas day. Now I wonder who's opened some presents this morning. When I was little, I would jump into my mum's bed fairly early and all the presents would be opened before heading off to church to show off whichever was my favourite one. Now, I'm sure we all like receiving presents, but for me, it isn't necessarily the actual present, but the fact that someone has thought about me and cares about me enough to get me something. When someone gives you a present, it can make us feel happy, special, loved and cared for. Now I have some presents here and I wonder if you might be able to guess what they are. So here's my first one. Any ideas what this might be? I've tried to wrap it so that it's not very obvious. Mm, perhaps, I don't know, a genetically modified Kristingle orange? No, I bet most of you have got it. It is a football. Okay, next present. I have this one. Hmm. I wonder what you think this might be. It's got quite a long handle. Maybe uh, one of the exercises we're still allowed to do at the moment. I bet lots of you have got it. It is indeed a golf club. I have one more. I wonder how many people will be hopeful of a bag that sort of is this sort of size and then perhaps has something, maybe the grown up scissors, that's this sort of shape inside, quite heavy. And uh, if you were me, you'd be hoping that it has a top that looks like this uh, and is full of bubbles. So I'm sure there'll be some of this uh, consumed over today. Um, three presents that really were quite obvious, but I've got one more here. Hmm. I wonder what might be in this one. It's not as easily identified by the shape. I'll open it so you can see. It's a picture frame. It's a photo of many of my nearest and dearest. Some still with us, but some sadly no longer. For many of us today, it's not the presence we may be interested in, but it's the presence, or sadly the absence of presence of those we love round our tables and sat on our sofas. This Christmas time and during this strange year, we've come to cherish and realise the greatest gifts are not wrapped in paper or tied with a bow. That first Christmas 2,000 years ago, God had a gift for us, which didn't arrive beautifully wrapped, but in a smelly, dirty stable, and that gift was his presence with us. In our reading, we heard about the prophecy that said, the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel. When God sent his present of his presence, he humbled himself and became a baby so that Jesus could grow up, live on this earth and demonstrate God's love to us. He became one of us. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Sometimes life might feel like a dark place to be, especially at the moment. Some may say there'll be light at the end of the tunnel, but I believe that Jesus wants to be light in the darkness of the tunnel. This Christmas, as we receive presents and are reminded of the presence of those we love, may we remember Emmanuel. God is with us. He is for us. He is in us and he is working through us. Christmas is the eternal guarantee that God is always with us in this difficult and challenging world. May you know peace, love, joy and hope this Christmas. And we pray that 2021 we will know and experience God's presence with us and indeed the presence of one another once again. Amen. Happy Christmas.
God of love, on this Christmas day we pray to you. The star represents the view of the whole world. Lord, we give thanks for God's love for the whole world. We pray for peace in our world, a willingness to care for your creation, and a fairer distribution of resources for everyone. Show us what we can do to be your hands and mouth in the world to help bring this about. Lord Jesus, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. The shepherds represent all those working or living on the edge of society and who are struggling at this time. Lord, we pray for all who are working this day, those who have nowhere to go, those who have lost their jobs and who fear for the future. We pray they may have the strength they need and support for the year ahead. Lord Jesus, hear, hear our prayer. The wise men represent all who hold power and influence. We pray for our world leaders, for guidance for the way ahead, for strength and courage to lead with compassion and wisdom. We pray for ourselves as we seek to lead in our own spheres of influence that we may be humble compassionate and loving. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Mary and Joseph represent families of all sorts of shapes and sizes. We give thanks for our families and friends near and far, and particularly those who we will not be able to see this Christmas. We bring to mind in a moment of quiet those on our hearts this day, because of sadness, bereavement, or suffering. May you bring them your healing and comfort. Lord Jesus, hear our hear prayer. prayer. Jesus represents hope and salvation. The light of the world come among us. We give thanks for this day of celebration, for the gift of Emmanuel, God with us. In these days of worry and fear, we pray that the Prince of Peace will dwell in our hearts this day and always. Lord Jesus, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We join all our prayers together as we say the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory is yours, now and forever. Amen. So we come to the peace. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his name shall be the Prince of Peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. So as we come to the end of our service, a few things to say. Uh, firstly, uh, notes about services for the next few weeks are in our pew sheet. I'll be taking a post-Christmas break um, and we'll be back on the 5th of January. Uh, in the meantime, please do contact Linda or Ian uh, or me in emergency. Um, we are going to be, or I am going to be, in the Zoom room after the service. It'd be lovely if you want to just pop in and say a quick Happy Christmas. Uh, it would be lovely to see you, particularly today, as it's going to be a very unusual Christmas for all of us. Finally, I'd just like to say some thank yous. Uh, firstly, I'd like to take a, a huge thank you to Jane and Janine who have been incredible over this last difficult year and have been a great source of support both for me personally but uh, have been amazing uh, in how they have supported our church family. So a huge thank you to them and also to our relatively new, still brand new uh, Deputy Church Wardens, Mark and Jan. Thank you also for all your help and support. 
My thanks also goes to our PCC, who also have been incredible over this very unusual year, meeting more than often and taking on responsibilities. Um, I'd also like to say thank you to Holy Trinity Church Choir. Uh, we were able to do a little bit of recording for our Christmas services, and it's been such a blessing to be able to hear them sing again. A big thank you also to all our readers and those who have led intercessions over the Christmas services and all across the year. People have been amazing recording in their gardens or in their houses or all over the place. So thank you so much. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to our Flower Guild. The church looks utterly beautiful. Please do, if you haven't been able to, pop in uh, and enjoy the arrangements. They really are utterly gorgeous. Um, I'd also like to say a thank you to our ministry team. Uh, Jana, you are amazing. You have worked your socks off this year and thank you so much. Um, Linda, thank you so much for your support. Paul, thank you for your support as well and for being so amazingly willing to preach sermons either in church or in your gardens or in your houses all over the place. And our thanks also to our lovely colleagues, uh, a part of the Benefice uh, team. Finally, my thank you to Holy Trinity Church family and also to the Maservi family uh, for uh, all your support and love and care this year. Um, we, we've done this together, haven't we? Um, and uh, we shall keep doing it together uh, as we go into a new year, which will be better, um, but we're just going to have to get through the next few months first. So as we come towards the end of our service, uh, we give our praises to God. 
God sent his angels from glory to bring shepherds the good news of Jesus' birth. Amen. We thank you, Lord. You have heard this story, the story of God's own Son. Amen. We thank you, Lord. May he fill you with joy to bring this good news to others today. Amen. We thank you, Lord. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the love of Mary and Joseph, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas and always. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and those whom you love and for whom you pray, now and always. Amen. Amen. We end our service today uh, with a wonderful uh, rendition of the 12 days of Christmas led by our wonderful choir. Wishing you comfort and joy this Christmas. God bless you. Three boys and two rubber gloves and a partridge.